everybody. Welcome to Final Fantasy XV, the world of EOS. Last time, which was like a couple months ago, uh, we tried to cheese out the Yoshimitsu, I think the Yoshimitsu, uh, not Yoshimitsu, sorry, wrong game. Uh, Yoshitsu, no. Whatever, the samurai dude who's in the caves. We were trying to cheese him out so that way we could get us a nice, juicy... Oh, I don't want to go to the stall yet. Uh, whoops, it is he. Trying to go get the bow of the clever. But unfortunately... Yeah, let's go to Wiz Chocobo Post. We got smoked. So we can't do that quite yet. Uh, we'll come back once we get a few levels. Maybe 16 is a little too weak. Also, and probably the most important, I only had one Mega Phoenix down. So once I died, what's this shitty boy band game? I don't, dude, I don't know. Oh, whoops, I, hold up. I have chat under Final Fantasy 15. There we go. I was wondering why I wasn't showing up my preview window. Yo, this boy band game is, uh, I heard about NSYNC. I don't know if you've ever heard of them. And then I found out they got a video game made, so I downloaded it just to kind of try it out. I figured it'd be shit or something, so, you know. I mean, it looks really good. Ugh. You jumped on this stream fast. I didn't think Twitch gave out stream notifications right away. I thought they waited like 5-10 minutes or something. No, you can't control the cards. Actually, yeah, I can totally control the car. I can make Ignis drive in the wrong lane if I feel like it. But he always tries to go back. Hmm. It's like he doesn't want to live on the road. How are you supposed to get those, like, off... Oh, damn it. I was going to make a burnout joke about driving on the wrong side of the road and getting boost points for it, but I can't remember what they call it in that game. Whatever. Oh, okay, gotcha. I got some sick mods. I'll show them to you once we get out of the car. Some of them are broken, including uh, a mod I tried to put into the game. But basically all of them function. The only thing I don't like about the mod weapons I have is people do not know how to s distribute stats. At all. I have one weapon that gives me like plus one magic and I'm like uh oh oh that's all right I probably won't be streaming for very long like an hour and a half maybe anyway I just wanted to stream a little bit before because I've been wanting to stream and show off some dumbass mods for a while I don't know why but tomorrow I'm having a bunch of friends over so we can watch the E3 press conferences together so I can't stay up too late, otherwise I'd be up till like 4 streaming this game, which is like twice as long. So, oh well. Also, I didn't turn on Cheat Engine before I started this, so no infinite stamina, which is I think, not counting the stream, basically what I'm going to do from now on is just have infinite stamina, because uh, screw you sprinting, and it's stupid limits. And since I don't have the stamina bar turned on, because I think it looks bad, uh, I can't consistently do the refill stamina trick. And then, uh, there's some other weird stuff you can do with Cheat Engine, Infinite Armature, that sort of thing. I'll cheat as I wish. Ooh, frame rate chugging as I get out of the car? That doesn't even make sense can't ban me for cheating in single player. They won't even ban people who have like maxed out stats and comrades. Aw uh, yeah. Alright. Yeah, I suppose. Coffee. Anyways, check this out. Uh actually wait. Gotta technically be out of town. There we go. Okay, check this out. So first sword. Got the Falchion from uh Fire Emblem. Good old Kingdom Hearts 2 shield. Uh, a pretty good one. Spose hammer. That one just came out today, actually. Thanks whoever did that. And uh, the Slingshot Pistol from uh, Destiny. 
I'm not sure if the way Final Fantasy XV considers uh, hit detection is if by the model making contact with something. Because I, one of my mods, which was supposed to be a gun, came out, it compiled into the game, but it became an invisible model. So it doesn't actually do anything. It doesn't shoot any bullets because it's invisible. So, yeah. I think maybe this Moe's Hammer might make the Great Swords great again. I guess I can't make Gladio show it off right now, but Gladio has the Buster Sword equipped right now. I figured that would look pretty good. Ignis, uh, the model's broken, but he's got the two swords from Sword Art Online. I hate the anime, but the swords look cool. And Mycens has the Musok which lurked. Ooh. And Prompto's using the Gunblade. There's two versions of this on the mod store. There's the actual a sword version, and then there's this, which is it's just a gun. <laughs> but it's the gun blade. Uh let's see, what else what other mods have I got? I've got I'll just equip four of them to show them off. And then we can pick which mods we like best and roll with those. So Oh, that mod broke. Got the Monado. It's supposed to be the king oh, Sometimes when you swap mods, it just doesn't change the model rate. Uh, Fatal Crest Keyblade. Lightning Sword. Let me see if I can't... Whoops. I mean, too many Japanese games pressing the wrong button. Take that off and put that back on. Nope, apparently it's broken. Awesome. It was working before. Oh, uh, there you can see it. Uh, and I got this one. It's entirely Japanese. It's some kind of... Oh, no, it's broken. Maybe it's just that one slot. Hold up. There you go. It's some kind of sword from, like, Fate Extella or something. And put the Kingdom Key on. Yeah, there you go. That's one slot's just busted for some reason. Oh, you want to see 50 meter long daggers, do you? Hold up. Oh no, that slide is permanently stuck as Felshins, yo! <laughs> awesome. Okay, we've got Falchions for forever now. Uh, it's two great swords, but they're daggers. Uh, what else have we got? Well, that, that's not going to be what I want it to be, but hey. Got Ruby Scythe. It's a cool weapon. Got Dante's Rebellion. Not a very good great sword. Probably get rid of that mod after. And I got the Falchion again. God damn it, I'll hit the right button one of these days. For real though. Uh, we've got Kratos' Leviathan Axe from the new God of War. And, oh yeah, if I take it out of the slot, I can probably show it off. So that's pretty good. We'll be using that for sure. <laughs> uh, this strange sidearm, that's me. That's my mod. If I swap over here, there's no gun. And it doesn't do anything. Noctis does the, the shooting animation, but nothing happens. Which is unfortunate. And then I tried to compile a different weapon into the mod, but yeah, it doesn't work. The only other mod I got right, right now is we've got Regis's suit for Noctis. Uh, someone on the mod Discord was trying to work with this, but apparently the way the mod system works is you can't add bones, so they had to remove Regis's cape, because it wouldn't animate at all. But we did get... Uh, I don't know, it's really hard to see, but if you look really closely, Regis's crown is on Noctis's head, so that's cool. But we're going to go back to the regular fatigues here. And I guess we'll just roll with the Falchion, I don't know. What version of the Falchion do we want? Because apparently we can have whatever Falchion we want. Oh my, wait, hold up. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, 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 even better. Wait, hold up. I love it when mods break. Can I? 
I can't cast fire. Okay, I'm keeping this on for now. I want to see what happens if I try to cast fire with a sword. I bet the game just crashes. We're going to find out. I have to recognize me. Uh, we're gonna kill Deadeye. Nice havens, and parking spots, and now posts, and what have you, and all these m little mining spots that don't matter because who needs them? Gisa? Is that how you say that? It must be a hillbilly thing. Now yeah, we don't need any of these. Hunts. Thunder and them number hills. Okay, well, let's grab this one. Because we can grab multiples. Grab that one. Get her done. That's a Canadian thing. It's almost nighttime anyway. So I'm on the newest patch. Apparently, when the game said... Wait, hold up. Has there been no game audio for you guys this whole time? The mixer is not showing me that there's game audio happening. Or maybe there is? No, it doesn't look like there's game audio. What the hell? Did the hook break? Anyways, um, what was I saying? I forget. No, I definitely forget now. Oh well. Oh wait. Oh right, I'm playing on the newest patch, so there was a thing that said uh, they added a cutscene skip feature to Chapter 3, which baffled everyone for the longest time. Turns out, if you fail the, uh, the Deadeye, like, stealth follow quest part, part of the quest, uh, you can skip that now if you fail. So that's what that means. Don't ask me how that means that, because it definitely doesn't mean that. But that's what it means. Oh yeah, I have my dumbass gun. So I probably won't play around with mods too much for the rest of the playthrough, but I definitely want to play with them today. Let's roll with the... Um, Roll with the Smoke's Hammer. And we'll take the Animus. I think that sword looks cool. I'll find some innocuous mods and use those, maybe. I bet those trees literally only spawned for that scene and then disappeared. I want someone to do a before and after. I want them to go over to where those trees were and see if they exist and then come here, do the activate this cutscene and see if they like fall down. I want to know. I like doing this part at night. Wait, right, hold up. Gotta try the, ma the magic. Uh, I couldn't see it through the brush. It looked like I spawned a ton of swords or something. I need to make more magic. Uh, let's try lightning. What have I got? Heal cast. Eh, let's put a couple heal casts in there. All right, sick ass sword time. Yeah, 
My favorite is doing the aerial attack. That's just what great swords are supposed to be. Try this thing next. It's over here. Uh, that's where I'm supposed to go. Hey, what's all this then? Oops. What's over here? I forget. It's been so long since I've been in the Behemoth Den. Okay. This needs to stop right now. There we go. It's all good. Uh, but yeah, has there... Here, since you're back. Has there not been game audio? Before you leave, tell me. Has there not been game audio? No, come back. Hey, this is new. You can hear the game? Okay, then my preview thing is just br busted. That's fine then. Alright, take care, ass, Tony. Uh, the Nebula Wood. Fog laden forest located in the western Malaki Hills. Often referred to as the Mistwood for the clouds that enshroud the land. The grove can be found by following the road north from Wiz Chocobo Post and breaking from the beaten path. After passing through a peculiar rock formation, mist starts to gradually obscure the way ahead. The low visibility and unsteady terrain made this area perfect for training soldiers to fight unfavorable conditions. The ruins of an old Lucian armory still stand to this day, but caution is advised. Live explosives still line the walls. That's cool, man. I love... I love that they added that. It's such a small thing, and it's like a weird way to do it, because it's just like little books lying around, but I love having the little context in the world for locations. Is that my mic's background sound? Oh, maybe. Let me turn my mic down. Here, we'll, we'll go hear the behemoth's roar. I'll mute my mic. Very quiet. Okay. I'll raise it in a second. This thing looks downright fearsome with like good textures. Alright, take care, ass Tony. See you later. Okay, I've raised the volume in the OBS mixer. Hopefully that helps. I'd hate to do this with no sound. Here we go. But there's at least one more playthrough of Anonymous 15 I have planned that uh, lets me get it all right and not have to worry about technical difficulties on this one. Now, here we go. It's weak on the right. No eye, no horn. We'll stay in range until we can exploit its blind spot. 
I don't think that dialogue happened before. Is that new? I mean, granted, it's been like... Uh, let's see, the game came in 2016. It's been almost a year and a half since I've... Actually, no, you know what? It's probably been a year and a half since I've done this quest last, so I, maybe I just don't remember. But uh, I think that's new. Man, this place looks spooky at night. I love it. Especially with, like, PC level lighting and shadows. This is why I love lighting and shadows in video games. Or, like, it's why I love having them on the highest setting at when at all possible. I will sacrifice other graphical fidelities to have sick lighting and shadows if I have to. It adds so much to experience for me. Whisper Noctis! Uh oh, wrong button. I want to say they added the behemoth chase skip thing because I know some people were having issues with this where it like insta failed them all the time. Maybe that's why. And I think about it. I think they should have gone for a different musical choice than this one, to be honest. Doesn't feel very spooky. I think this part's supposed to be spooky. Should not be able to see me. I'm just saying. You straight up just did a circle around that rock, and I hate you. You know, I don't know why I'm hanging out on this left side when its right eye is blind. I'm not sure if that's actually a gameplay mechanic. If you stay on its right side, if it can't see you. But, mm, may as well live by the lore where I can. It sounds almost like a snake. Whoa, what was that? Whoa! Alright, let's do this. I don't have fire handy, but I've got lightning. Does that count? Oh no. Please let me go fly faster. Please. There we go. Whoa! Call in the day's work. You know the shadows are good with your eyes just to the darkness and a flashlight blinds the shit out of you. Save the 
that for after. Actually, I guess we can make some fire magic now. Let's make something awesome. Dual cast, that'll work. Good enough for our purposes, anyway. Oh, I think the glitch fixed. Damn it. I wanted to do like an elucidator shield. Oh, hey, how's it going? Potato PC has a hard time running the lighting. Oh, yeah. Definitely, if it. If the the shadow tech rendering is not uh, up to snuff, you can have some problems. Especially when I was on PS4, I had to uh, increase the brightness of the game severely just so I could see in the dark. Because this game gets dark. I thought I was aiming at the thing. My bad. Alright, well. Suppose have her away! Get over here. This looks so bad. But I love it. Uh oh. Did not blink. Okay. We've almost got fire ready. What mod is that? It's Smo's Hammer from Dark Souls. Uh, I think I missed. And then I set everyone on fire. So that's good. Nice backflip, Ignis, but can you regroup? Oh, I didn't have a weapon equipped. Okay, the recovery upgrade towards is hardcore, I forgot. Uh... It's been a while since I've played this game. We're gonna get out of there. Time to use our sick ass quote unquote daggers. I missed it, really. No, what the? Amazing targeting. Dude, we've got sick daggers for I hit that parry button. Oh, you guys got him. Sweet, thank you. You know what, we're gonna regroup and get everyone's great HP back. We're in there. Oh. There we go. I was only trying to do that 17 times. I miss having blink. I mean, not blink, impervious. Because then I don't have to care about getting hit. I can just recover it after. Oh. Do I have a potion? I do. Oh, yeah, and I have. Whoa! I have uh, Heal Cast Thundara if I need it. I'm missing parries? Why am I missing parries? Yeah, I don't feel like warping or using the Ragnarok. Ragnarok, I mean, a lot of things break this game. Damn it. A lot of things break this game. But the Ragnarok just doesn't feel fun to me. Something like the Overwhelm... Pro oh, he's dead. Uh, something like the Overwhelm plus uh, Bow the Clever thing. That's fun. It'll also kill you, but it's fun. Ragnarok, I mean... <clears> hmm. <throat> 
if someone could make a mod of the Ragnarok that had the Warp Strike particle effects but didn't have the Warp Strike damage mod, uh, I would use that all the time. Because the, the Ragnarok looks rad. Especially the Warp Effect. It looks awesome. Get wrecked, random piece of aluminum. But it is just too strong. Alright, where are... Hold up. Uh, quests, yeah. Where are... This. Uh, that hunt's pretty close, but we can take that on while we do it. I'll put magic on. Animus, Mo's hammer. You know what? Screw it. We'll just roll with these for a while. The Zwill and Organics do do more damage, but the warp strikes from the Ragnarok make you invincible, and you can just spam that, and then if there's a warp point nearby, you have infinite MP, so you just spam it for days, and there's nothing stopping you. So it's not only is it decent damage, it's also free invincibility. It's a, it's a Magitek exosuit, let's be honest. Just with mild skill component. Because you can't... Uh, there's like periods of vulnerability, I guess. Give me that treasure spot. Keep pressing circle to pick stuff up, and I don't know why. That maybe didn't do as much as I thought it would. Uh oh. Okay, something about the frame rate maybe is making this hard. Well, why can't I give Prompto a, a thing? We're gonna take cover and heal. Why can't I order Prompto? Oh, now I can order Prompto. Oh, he was too far away. Are you stuck in a bush? You better not be stuck in a goddamn bush. Whoa! Frame rate. Hold up. Particle effects. Oh, I thought I swapped weapons. I was wondering why I wasn't attacking. Oh, even better. That's one should stay up for longer. Let's see, I'll give Ignis the high elixir and I'll chill for a bit. Is it raining? Oh no, that's the spark. No, that is rain. Awesome. Looks good. About the rare metal. I was going to say this and then we started fighting. Uh, I haven't played the Royal Edition content yet, that's kind of what this uh, PC version of playthrough is for. Because I chose to get the PC version instead of... No! Get the PC version, I'm dead. Instead of... Uh, get the Royal Pack on PS4. Mod the card to weapon. Someone modded Prompto into a weapon, which is hilarious in all the right ways. Okay, I'm getting smoked. I should get some vitality, maybe. Oh. Thanks, guys. Spoilers? Uh, I pretty much know all the items. Whoa, frame rate. Definitely making a problem there. I know all the items that come in the Royal Pack, I just don't know any of the cutscenes, and I haven't seen the bosses. I know what the bosses are, but I haven't seen them. I also use Cheat Engine to mod the Founder King Sigil onto my inventory on a different save file just so I could mess around with Armature Unleashed, and that seems pretty awesome. I'm excited to try that. Actually, now that I think about it, I wonder if 
Armager Unleash gets a power boost from Royal Arms like a regular Armager does. Because if I modded it into my inventory now and I only have a couple Royal Arms, it probably wouldn't be that broken. Hmm. Maybe that's something to test. Also, I love that I can have great swords with the warp speed of daggers. It's fantastic. Everything about this right here is my jam. Whoa, stop it. Damn you, Garla. Not gonna lie, I've seen the great swords. Even though there's two of them and I'm attacking weirdly, I keep expecting to use the great sword moveset. Rare metal breaks the game by removing damage cap. Oh my god. How do you get it? Is it just like a reward for killing one of the bosses? I was holding square and I was recovered from that attack. What? Yeah, I'm sure Unleash doesn't have a damage cap, but I'm wondering because uh, the regular armature in this game, it gets damage boosted for every royal arm you have. I think it's damage boosted. It gets some kind of boost from having extra royal arms. So the armature unleashed is designed for you to have all the royal arms, obviously. If it's not as strong, if I have less royal arms, and thus not completely broken for early game, if I were to like mod, it, mod it into my inventory now, would it be letting me use it without steamrolling through the entire game? And now I think about where's that other hunt? Uh, yeah, it's close-ish by. We'll grab all these, why not? Then we can turn it into Wiz. Acetonia was in the chat earlier, I don't know if you know him from the YouTube videos, Weapon Guide, that sort of thing. I saw his video on the rare metal, I forget what he was using, but he was just basically smoking the damage cap because he had the rare metal and some other strength uh, build going. It was ridiculous. Yeah. I'm just wondering, like, on a pure damage basis, would having less royal arms make it weaker? Oh, uh, you. Whoa! Wombo combo. Where are my bros? Guys? Am I dying? Good thing I have this one Mega Phoenix. Where are my friends? What are you guys doing over there? What is happening? Oh, nice of you to join the fight. How many parries do I have to do? Uh, looks like the Falchion has taken over Prompto's mod as well. Sweet finisher. That would have been awesome if I had main game multiplayer. Depending on what the mod tools look like when the real ones come out, uh, some people might be able to make that happen. People have hacked in multiplayer into like weird stuff like uh, Divinity Original Sin 1. Whoa, hello. I don't do a lot of damage. Is this is most hammer just bad? Maybe I just need better weapons. Speaking of better weapons, let's put a real sword on. Actually, let's use the Mega Lance, which is another mod I got. Oh, wrong weapon. Glug, 
Gladio is a monster. Oh, you know what? Thanks for reminding me. I actually have those skills unlocked. Let's play as Gladio. No, that's Ignis. And weird hitch. Give me Gladio. Someone else can rock too prompto. That's not the Buster Sword either. Why is the Falchion just like taking over? Whoops. I'm not doing very well today. Thanks, homie. These guys are also tough. It is the Falchion from Fire Emblem. The problem is, something in the mod organizer broke when I was showing off mods at the beginning of the stream. And so now the Falchion just shows up in place of other mods. Like, if I were to show you what Gladio is equipped with, it is not the Falchion. You see, Prompto is also using the Falchion. <laughs> He's not supposed to be using the Falchion. What? Noxus has it too. Like, it's just taking over. I don't know why. I don't know what happened. So, yeah. So something broke. I could restart the game to fix it. But, eh. You try shutting your cake hole, Gladio. Pie hole? Is it cake hole? I forget. The mod tool for like the model swapping and stuff you can do right now is not very good. Uh, you know what? I will grab this. I've got swords that are good and better than what this is, but may as well grab it. Have the attack strength foes. Also, the mod tool that we have now will not let you add extra effects to items. It's like I can't add the air step swords effect to a sword. I can only change its base stats. Probably. My computer's not handling the CPU load very well. I need to overclock my computer, but before I do that, I want to clean it out a bit, because I haven't cleaned it out in quite a while. I've just been lazy. I've got a processor that's supposed to, that's designed for overclocking, so I should go do it. Just, <sighs> it's literally like a few uh, button presses away in the in the boot up menu, but I'm scared of doing it while there's dust and whatever is in my computer. Don't want it to overheat. Guess I could turn a setting or two down as well, but nah, screw that. Camera strap. Let's. What does that do? Let's prompto. Uh, take more pictures, I think. Grab ten of these. Grab five luxers. Need some Phoenix stands. I'll grab ten. Grab some recipe stuff. Don't really need it, but may as well. It's always good to have options. And I've got the money. I don't like seeing zeros in my inventory. I'm not one of those completionists that needs to have 99 of every item, but I do... Is that new? I don't think I've ever seen that one. I do not like having zeros in my inventory. I don't remember this decal. Weird. i get this for uh, Talcott later. How is the frame rate on the stream, by the way? Because I notice sometimes OBS will, thankfully for me, prioritize the game over the stream. 
So if something gets wacky, my computer can't handle the workload, OBS just starts dropping the frame rate on the stream. But for me, it's fine in the game. So... Never had any problems with frames due to CPU and RAM. Old i5 model. I'm using an i5 6600K, but not overclocked, obviously. Antique GTS 450. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Yeah, any kind of like, what is it called, specular stuff? Like shininess, that, that's always going to kill frame rate. Duskayan Ranch... Oh, oh, Jesus, dyslexia or something, I don't know what just happened. Duskayan Dude Ranch. Thought it was uh, ranch dressing for some reason. Focused on the protection and propagation of everyone's favorite feathered friends. Tourists are invited to feed and interact with the birds at their leisure. The post also sponsors chocobo races and a bird rental service. For a small fee. Wild chocobos once trotted freely through the forest of Dusk Sky, but the recent influx of ferocious beasts has sent the birds running in fear. Despite the hunters strengthening their patrol of the area, their numbers were not enough to attend to all the lost and injured birds, and the population continued to decrease. Troubled by the bird chocobos' travails, Wiz Fortune Forlawn? Jeez, I can't read today. Wiz Forlain sought to set up a safe haven for birds in need. Thanks to his efforts, the feathered friends of the forest once again had a place to rest their tired wings in peace. Without his hard work, the national Lucian sport of chocobo racing might have lost the annals of time. Chocobo racing is a Lucian national sport. That's a random fact that I love to have, but is completely non not necessary. Much been vile these past years. Dude. Crypto mining has... Super fucked pricing. I'm in Canada. Wait, why am I buying from you? I don't need. I don't need you. It's not what you said, but thank you. Custom. No. I hit down. <laughs> there you go. That takes a while. I'm in Canada, and there's was. A where is my kooky chocobo? Did they take that away from me? I swear to God. Uh, there, there was a computer chain called NCIX. It was like a not just computer store, but like tech stuff in general. Oh, that's how. You, that's that. That's how you do it. Great. I guess we'll have the kooky Twitch chocobo for a while. <sighs> And said chain just tanked. Business gone. They were empty for a good long while, then they just straight up died and declared bankruptcy because they couldn't afford the prices anymore. There's more quests? Probably from Wiz. So they, they basically went bankrupt because cryptocurrency miners were buying up all the stock from distributors, and then they had to pay absorbent prices to get the stock over the crypto mine. Cryptocurrency miners. This is not how you get a quest from Wiz. If there's indeed a quest here. Thought it was here. Uh, oh, you know what? I think I know what it is. This is the quest to go see the... Uh, the Niflheim thing? Yeah. So yeah, NCAX is just dead now, and it's all thanks to... Cryptocurrency miners. Really awkward. Sure. Oh, you're going to see it, Ignis. Take out our chocobo. Wait, my oh, I didn't rent my chocobo. Damn it! Prices doubled for a ten eighty or ten fifty. Holy shit! 
Yeah, there's no reason for retailers to go back to their old prices because people were buying them. So, like, why would they go down? Just like in Canada, a, a standard retail game is $80, 80 Canadian dollars. In the U.S., it's 60 And now that exchange rate is equal, like 80 Canadian dollars is about 60 Cana or U.S. dollars. But were the exchange rate to ever go down, or for me, improve, so that'd be like 60 U.S. equals 60 Canadian, I can guarantee you that game prices are not going to go down to $60. They're going to stay at 80 because Canadians are paying 80 so why would they bring it down? I need to fill up on gas. Fourteen thousand pesos. Holy shit. That's a lot of money. <laughs> Holy Christ. At least it's going down. I mean like <sighs> all I can hope is that cryptocurrency goes away. It sucks for people who have invested in it heavily, but please just make it go away. I'm tired of getting emails about the blockchain. Not that blockchain is exclusively for a cryptocurrency, but... It's just... It's hard for for space reasons, because you need... If you're a serious cryptocurrency miner, you have a ton of rigs and you need space. And then it's taking a, a ton of electricity, electrical resources... I've heard it's got some other side problems in terms of resources as well. Although I can't confirm that. Why are you driving so slow, Ignis? What's going on? You okay, bro? You, yeah, he was doing like 40 or something for a while. What was that about? Stocks haven't moved at all. Damn. Yeah, hopefully once the new series of GPUs come out. I am driving to the disc, right? Yeah, okay. I didn't run my chocobo. I remembered to run my chocobo and then I didn't. Damn it. Well, I was going to say we'll just get out of the car and chocobo over there, but now we got to wait for the regalia to get there. Ugh. Yeah, but yeah, once the new series of cards comes out, the old ones will tank, so... Hopefully that will help. Combined with the lowering prices because of uh, what you call it. Damn it! I can't English today. Maybe we'll just do the rest of the stream in Japanese. No, we're not. We've got like a quarter of a tank left. I'm just not going to continue that sentence from before, because, holy crap. I'm also tired. It's, like, almost 2 in the morning for me. I was hoping to get more done. I didn't think doing the behemoth quest would take, like, 45 minutes. Wait, the photo op is over here? I thought the photo op was right where Prompto asked. Damn it all. Damn it all. Yo, that would be rad. <laughs> Great day for a walk, huh? It is. I know I know Prompt was being sarcastic, but I am genuinely I would go for a walk in the rain. I love the rain. Rain is great weather. I could probably sprint over there faster than the regalia would take me there now that I think about it. Show me the photo. Ready or not? I'm not. It's a nice photo. We'll save that one. Ooh, mountain rain. Yeah, I've done some hikes in the, in the rain. Oh God, I still got the falchion. 
It's it's awesome. Thankfully, where I'm at in British Columbia, it is prime hiking territory. There are so many mountains and so many good hiking trails that if you if you want to go for a good hike, it's you're probably not looking at more than like an hour's drive to get to a really good mountain. And I've done some backpacking across mountains before. It's awesome. And then it sucks getting rained on all the time while you're going out, but it's still a good time. The hell? Oh, that was a Kujata. I didn't turn cheat engine on, so I don't have the infinite magic no cooldowns cheats on. But I did a video just to show one of my console playing friends what it looks like to cast a shit ton of magic in this game with no cooldown. Oh boy, I, I super tanked my frame rate with all the particle effects. Don't hit me, I'm the prince. But it was awesome. That Kujata died. I was at like level one with uh, extremely powerful magic. And he just he just went away. I'm somewhat of a city kid, but man, it's it's nice to get outdoors now and then. I want to get to this war point just so I can fill up my MP. Big ass moose, yeah. One thing I'm really excited for the real deal mod tools to do, hopefully they can do it, is unlock warp points for out of combat. I know it's possible. Oh, hey, you got toad. You know what? Let's fight you. I know it's possible because they showed off the official Final Fantasy Twitter account. That is, showed off a teaser video of Final Fantasy 15 with eye tracking, and you could use the eye tracking to determine what warp point you're going to go to. And they showed that also working out of combat. So I know it's possible. I'm just hoping some modders can make that work because that'd be awesome. Where are my friends? Why are they always gone? Jesus Christ! The path, the pathing in this game at the very moment is not amazing, apparently. I've not usually had problems with it, but today apparently there's some issues with my friends getting to where I am. I'm not even going like weird out of bounds places. Yeah, if you, if you get jumped by the Niflheim soldiers. I turned around to look at the party members. Oh, here we go. Nice. We can eat a, a giant toad. That's what I want. Where's the entrance to this place? I forget. Oh boy, I'm stupid. I thought I could just jump over the rocks. Okay, you know what, back to the regalia. That was a fun little detour, but that was also not a smart move. I've done it before, but using a chocobo, you can jump over the rocks and actually get to where the entrance to the, uh, the, the what do you call that, the military installation is? But I forgot you can't do it on foot. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Now I see you turn, Ignis. Let's turn some tunes on. What am I doing here? What have I got? Uh... Hmm. I'm partial to Final Fantasy IX myself, but I don't have the soundtrack unlocked. Uh... Where is Cosmo Canyon? 
I like this song. I swear to God, if Ignis tells me about darkness and how it's dangerous at night, I'm gonna kill myself. One thing about being 120 all the time is that Ignis never worries about darkness anymore. Of course, you know, Ignis has other problems at that point. The heck was that sign? You're gonna take like 17 right angle turns. Hope you're ready for this. Yeah, I think it's level 30. I didn't know that was a thing when I first played this game. When I hit that and it was like, I think you're ready, dude. I'm like, oh my god, thank you. Honestly, can't be too cautious. The whole game's a highway. <laughs> Honestly, though, I think just chilling in the regalia, driving to a place, listening to music, and watching the, the scenery go by is one of my favorite parts of this game. Like, obviously, it's not the most riveting gameplay experience in the world. I am literally putting my hands on the back of my head and just watching. But there's something really peaceful to it. Partially fueled by how good the game looks. Especially when you're driving along the coast to go to Cape Kayam in Chapter 6. Man, that's a good sight. The complaints about this game's overworld not having a ton to do were perfectly valid. Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, but I love driving through it. Please don't force me to go back. Get me out of here. Just get me out of here. Yeah, no, it's fine. We'll worry about that later. I just want to do the side quest. Please. Feels dead outside of a stall. That's, that's very true. The hunts help. But I don't think there's enough hunts. Specifically, there's not enough hunts in like weird locations. A lot of the hunts seem to be concentrated around certain uh, hotspots. And there's also just not a lot else. Like there's fetch quests, I guess, but everyone loves fetch quests. <laughs> they really love fetch quests. And there's not a ton of stuff to find by exploring. There's some really cool things like one of my favorite moments playing this game for the first time was exploring um where is it i think it's i think it's around here ish there's like this broken down tank just in the middle of the woods and i came across that like completely by accident so i was just wandering around looking at stuff I'm like that's awesome there's literally zero things attached to this spot there's no reason to ever go to this, but I love that there's this random broken down tank here from a relic from an old war. The world feels lived in, but doesn't feel like there's stuff there. You wanna spawn that mech for me? There we go. I noticed the load times for this game have gotten a little bit worse since the last patch. I don't know why. Nothing really changed on my end. Okay, you know what. Where's my sword otherwise? That and the only fillers of random magic spawns? Yeah. And usually it's just... Uh, uh, soldiers, not even like fun mech fights. Well, quote unquote fun. Fighting and trying to get to a place, an MAX Angelus drop run is not exactly the best. Eat Smo's Hammer! Whoa! 
Holy crap, the hitbox is gigantic. I guess the hitbox really does depend on the actual weapon size. That's awesome. Just get a mod for a weapon that's just a, a cube that's like 600 feet long. I'll hit stuff from across the map, no big deal. Let's see. Actually... Oh, I'm out of MP. Whoops. was not paying attention to that. Really? Oh, that hit me. I was about to ask. Ignis. Hurry up and recover so I can die? I guess I should just use an elixir. I'd rather not use elixirs, but I don't have to. Uh, where are my phoenix downs? There they are. I don't know, I feel like a, a slight, mild rebalancing of the game is uh, to not use Phoenix Downs if you don't have to. Because then you have to rely on your friends uh, picking you up. Which is always not, not always a consistent way to get through, but I'm trying to pick up Ignis. Let me help my friend. But it means that you take damage when you're in danger state. Sorry, not Phoenix Dance. I mean, I mean elixirs. God damn it. Speaking of, I feel like a lot of the, this game's item promises would be fixed if elixirs weren't nearly as plentiful, or even in the game. Okay, hold on. Gladio, do you have Dawn Hammer? You do. Um, I think the game just crashed. Oh, no, there we go. Cool, awesome. That took a while. Don't know what that was about. Trying to equip that again, see if that fixes it. Let's play Prompto. I don't know why, I was just trying to warp. Oh, hey. Yeah, the, the timed quests really do break it. See, when the mod tools comes out, I will definitely attempt to try and rebalance this game. I'm not sure that I'll be successful, but I will try. Oh no! The thing is broken by the mod. That's unfortunate. It's supposed to be the gun blade, but right now it's just stuck on the falchion. Okay, Prompto, you're not allowed to use mods anymore. It's broken, super hardcore. <laughs> I always forget that the mechs explode at the end. Hell yeah. You be quiet, Noodle Man. We've got important problems. If I summon the Regalia, does it automatically fill the tank? Probably not. Guess we're towing the car back. <sighs> Should've got gas. Been thinking about the difficulty in this game a lot sporadically as I play through it now and then. I think elixirs are definitely a problem because it means that you don't have to worry about the, the multiple tiered health system at all, which I think you should be worrying about that. That's one of the coolest things about this game in terms of mechanics. Uh, Phoenix Downs being super plentiful, I don't mind that because your AI teammates are stupid half the time and they'll just die. Like Prompto, he'll just die. So it's useful to have those. What is... Why is the game... There we go. So those are useful. Also, there's a bunch of enemies in this game that can one-shot you from, like, full white health to zero. So having Phoenix Downs is alright by me. Uh, item cooldown... Mm, I'm not sure that the cooldown is the problem. It could be the problem. I think it's just 
I think it really is just elixirs is the primary problem with items. And, uh... How plentiful items are, too, for sure. Oh, whoops. Can't hurt to have an item cooldown. What a smart fella. <clears throat> Dumbass. Yeah, definitely. What was her plan anyway? The car wax is in Dust Guy. And Sid's not doing a lot of the work anymore. Who's gonna watch Hammerhead while she's gone? Man, I don't doubt it, to be honest. I'm that same way. I almost never use items unless I'm forced to by dire circumstance. Did did Cindy like throw the car over here too? What would how is it? I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. Not going to worry about it. Okay, Yiggy. Fine. May as well. I don't have the holy headlights, so... I'm just going to get smoked by demons anyways. We'll head over to Lestal and see Iris for a bit and probably call it a stream. Your special power is teleporting the regalia. I wouldn't doubt it if Cindy j secretly had superhuman strength and just like lift cars. Cindy's cool. It's just unfortunate how much the camera loves to focus on her tits. I don't even remember half these photos. When did I have you shirtless, Gladio? Gladio's face is creepy. That is creepy. There's so many photos of Gladio. Why'd that happen? Get out of my shot, Ignis. Cheeto's mascot? Oh, yeah, Gladio. How's it going, Prompto? All right, time for a load, I guess. Auto. Where's the closest I can fast travel to? I don't really want to do your guys' quests, to be honest. Um, can I fast travel to this parking spot? No, nope. whoops. Yes. Oh, the behemoth. Oh, Tony the tiger. Not no, wait, sorry, not Tony the Tiger. God damn it, that's Frosted Flakes. Uh, what is the name of that guy? The Cheetos guy, the the weird leopard thing. Does he have a name? Tony the Tiger. Speaking of mascot characters, actually on the Steam Workshop, there's. Spongebob mods for every of the four bros. There's Mr. Krabs, Gary, Squidward, and I think Sandy? Which is always fun. 
Now, Pink Panther is the, the French detective dude thing. Oh, sorry, guys. Were we holding you up in your identical cars? Hey, Annex. I hate those things. The Thomas the Tank Engine mod. Uh. Oh. oh, that thing gives me nightmares, dude. It was created by someone on the modding Discord. I just, I just looked at it. I'm like, why? Why would you do this? Why would you do this? Now I wonder, there's a line that happens, or it happened for me the first time I played this game when I was going up to Lestalem for the first time, I think. I wonder if it's going to trigger. Because I've seen a lot of people talking about why Noctis has to get the blessings of the Astrals before, and I feel like it's relatively explained by this piece of dialogue. Let's see if it procs here, because I know it doesn't often proc. And I don't know why it does and doesn't. Yeah, it's cursed, man. No, it doesn't look like the dog's playing. What the hell? Weird. Basically, the dialogue's just like... Uh, talking about how the Astrals... Or how the Lucian Kings have fought alongside the Astrals since antiquity. Something like that. Basically tying the fact that the Lucian Kings get the blessings of the Astrals back to the past, like a long time ago. And as far as we know, there's only one other incident of that, which is uh, the very first King of Lucis did that. But we don't know if anyone else did. But we know that there's precedent for it. And which makes it make more sense why Noctis would be trying to get the blessings of the Astrals along the way. Besides, you know, the fact that they're extremely powerful beings and that would help against a war against an empire. But I just find it really strange that a dialogue doesn't proc all the time. There's... Oh, hello. Yeah, the all their fighting stuff comes from Bahamut. I love that. There's so many references to Bahamut in Lucian... Uh, like, not architecture. Well, I guess a little bit architecture, but like clothing. Like, the Kingsglaive outfits are all designed after Bahamut. They got their warping and sword stuff from Bahamut. Uh, the Kingsglaive crest is Bahamut's swords. And uh, all of the Kings of Yore have like Bahamut iconography on their gear somewhere. I forgot what my point was. I got distracted by Bahamut. I'm scatterbrained today. Screw off, Prompto. Don't tell me you guys are getting stuck down there. Cup noodles. Actually, I was in Japan uh, about a month ago now. And we went to the Cup Noodle Museum. Alright, they're done. I, I went to the Cup Noodle Museum, and they have this thing where you can make a cup of uh, cup noodles. Like, you can choose your own ingredients or what have you. And we got to draw on the cup. So what did I draw? I drew Gladio on the cup. And it says, uh, the ultimate flavor experience, I think I wrote. Of course, this is all in English. I doubt anyone in Japan would really understand what it was saying. You have amazing voice acting, bro. Give me all of your cup noodles. Most likely see a major plot point from Arden's DLC. Probably Arden's DLC, and I'm guessing Noctis's as well. Japan's awesome, dude. Like, Japan's just actually a really awesome place. Uh, you want me to pay you? No? Okay. Absolutely, the katsu is fantastic. Like, besides the food, 
glass gemstone. That's what I need for one of the sword upgrades, right? I think it's on these tables. Besides the food, like, there's lots of cultural stuff if you want to go. Also, just suburbia, like going to Shibuya and Akihabara if you're into anime and weird stuff or fashion. There's a place for you wherever you, whatever you're into, there's a place for you somewhere in Japan. And then if you don't want the city life, you can go to Kyoto or, I don't know, like Nagano or something. Like somewhere a little bit more rustic and check that out. Everything is cheap. Or at least compared to where I live, it's everything is cheap. You okay, Ignis? Japan's awesome. I'm not sure that would have been the greatest place to live, because working in Japan probably not great, considering what I hear about, like, overworking and that sort of thing. But visiting Japan is fantastic. I actually thought that was a picture of a dude doing a flying sidekick. Catch of the day from Golden Key. That doesn't rhyme. Whoever wrote that sign doesn't know what or how to pronounce key. They need better mental health care and all. De definitely. That's another thing that sucks about Japan, <laughs> honestly. They don't pay attention to that sort of stuff much. It's getting, it's starting to get there. It's starting to get there. But it is not at all there yet. Japan definitely loves its conformity, which is probably the biggest problem. Oh, wait, hold up. I love that these guys exist and that they have a song. Probably. Oh, right, this... In the, in the Assassin's Festival, you can say here, Kenny the Crow shows up. You okay, dude? Nice assless chaps, lady. Yep, I am secretly the best. No one will ever know, because they don't tell me who I am on the radio. Oh god, no. No. I guess that does mean that Ravis has the Oracle's power, at least a little bit. I do like that they give us a lot of news via the radio. It feels more natural that way, more organic. That said, because they do it that way, a lot of people miss important information. Like, I haven't heard even nearly all of the radio broadcasts. I'm sure there's something I'm missing. So if you don't get that information, sometimes the story can be a little more confusing than it needs to be. Hey, Cosmogony. Speaking of confusing when it doesn't need to be the Cosmogony. <laughs> the earliest accounts of covenants are found in ancient tomes dating back to the time of the Cosmogony some two millennia ago. 
According to such tomes, the rites are a means by which the oracle summons forth the gods, that she might make the will of mortals known unto the divine. The cosmogony is only confusing because it tells the story of someone who was not Arden, but even though it's about Arden. Presumably, it's, it's a whole thing. Remember the pre-release art with the extra god behind Arden's bro? Ah, uh, I don't remember. If I saw it, I probably would remember. I wish Rave has got more screen time. He's an awesome character, though. I'd say most characters in this game are awesome. They just needed more screen time. I think they did the DLC right in this game, even though a lot of people they hate it. They did the best they could, at any rate. And they, they succeeded in making each DLC storyline feel cool, like, to play. There's a lot of amazing photography prompto. A lot of games, there's only, like, two options. You can either make the DLC important to the story. I like the shot of Pignus. In which case, people will be like, Oh, you cut it out to sell it later to make more money! Which they probably didn't. Knowing what little I know about video game development, they probably didn't. Or you do something where like, oh, the story about this character when they left for a minute, but then nothing important happens in that DLC. You can just safely skip it. Because it was designed as a side story that didn't matter, and so nothing happens at the end that's important. Oh, sorry, the uh, auto mod got you. Hold up one sec. Uh, can I turn off the auto mod for a second? Manage moderation. Uh, sure. I'm trying to turn on link privileges. I don't know how to do that. Um, I do not know how to give you mod privileges. I know how to ban you, apparently. Here, um... Just PM it to me. Yeah. 
I think the uh, the Twitch auto mod is deleting any uh, links at all. I don't know how to turn it off at the moment. So just PM me the the link, and I'll take a look at it. And tell me when you did it, because I don't have uh, Twitch open right now. I just have the chat popped out. Not experienced with dealing with Twitch chat. And then hopefully Twitch doesn't like delete links and PMs. I don't think it does. Acting dressed Iris is great. Iris, whatever you want to say. So that's an awkward scene. You're just trying so hard, and Noctis is not having any of it. I like how you're saying that while staring at some salami or something, dude. Alright. What's this? Pickled olives. <laughs> Okay, no thank you. Olives, not bad. Pickled olives, not my thing. Getting flashbacks of the Assassin's Festival. I love the female characters in this game, too. It's one of those rare examples of a JRPG just having really believable female characters that don't dress... Uh, in extremely awkward fashions. I mean, you've got Cindy, but even Cindy's pretty awesome. What does that say? High pressure pipeline in case of emergency contact. Exynorous. Always, always there. Always there. And Aranea is one of my favorite characters in a recent memory. She's so cool. To the Outlook! At least something good came of Insomnia being raised to the ground. Oh, come on, Noctis, say something. I'm awkward around girls, too, but that's just because I'm bad at talking to people, so you have no excuse. RNA is pretty dope, did well. Yeah. Yeah. I've played my fair share of JRPGs where it's just gigantic tits on a, a scantily clad... Usually it's a witch. Let's be honest, usually it's a witch. And uh, half the time they may be powerful, but they're not very interesting characters. Like, if you're going to make a character sexy, fine. I, I don't care. Whatever. But then you don't make them sexy and then also an uninteresting character. I think... That's what people get mad about when they say over-sexualization, is that there's no character behind it. Like, Bayonetta. She's sexy, but she's also awesome. And she's an interesting character. Uh, <laughs> I wish there was a third option to not be a Fucking asshole. Yeah, I don't I don't mind a sexy character or two. 
even if it's a guy, like, I'm, I'm straight, but still, like, good-looking dude's a good-looking dude. But if there's no interesting character, then I, I just get annoyed. It's just... I just get annoyed when characters are, like, vapid. Yes, it. Oh man, fighting with Ira is the best. I love the Link Strike where Noctis tries to punch something and then hurts his hand because he's trying to impress Iris. Oh, that too. The the amazing verbal ticks. Thanks, Talkit. Later, Talkit. Actually, uh, you know what? No. I was going to say we should rest, but nah. Uh, that's a fetch quest, I think, so I'm not going to bother with it. The Royal DLC's been out for ever, and I just haven't gotten around to getting there yet, so I kind of want to focus on the main story, and maybe just be a little bit underleveled for stuff. That's fine. I'm decent at this game. Not today, because I'm out of practice, but I'm decent at this game. I'll survive. All right, well, nothing new. Hoo-ha. One of the reasons I like Final Fantasy XV so much, though, is the, the writing, the dialogue and stuff. Because the my other final, favorite Final Fantasy game is 9 for the same reason. But, like, uh, so many games don't pay attention enough to good dialogue. They're, everyone's saying, like, declarative things. It's like, all right, we're going here. We need to get to the, the fuel tanker and blow it up. Dom! Or whatever, because Gears 5 got announced today, so I do the Gears thing. Like... I just love it when characters get to be characters and just chat and be people and not have to worry about whatever the pressing objective is and then have their own personal problems and things they need to get over. And so even though the, the main story to Final Fantasy XV could use some work, especially in the back half, like some extra cutscenes, maybe slow down the pace a little bit, that sort of thing, I still think it's one of the best Final Fantasies because it gets the writing well, or it gets the writing done so well. And it's not like the rest of the game is bad, so. Let's get off of this. What a lot of people don't like about 15 is it's more on story unraveling. Less about spoon-fed storytelling. Yeah. I, I like the way Dark Souls does its story because it doesn't tell you a lot and it kind of leaves you to figure stuff out but it, I feel like they leave you hanging a little too much in that case tactics is really good too I've actually not finished tactics if you look at my stream or my channel I do a thing called Final Fridays where every Friday I stream a game usually a JRPG and I was gonna do tactics next but I ended up doing Tales of Asperia which is also a really good game with really good writing. Uh, but I wanted tactics after that, probably, because I've not finished it. I've gotten... Oh, I don't even know how to describe how far I got, I guess. But... That game is awesome. I remember reading a analysis piece someone did of like how tactics deals with racism and classism. And it was a really, really good piece. 
and it made me want to play Tactics even more. Tactics is hard. That, that was the thing that made me stop for a bit. Is There was like a combination of uh, some other game coming out, I forget what it was. And then also Tactics just being fucking hard. I've still never watched Game of Thrones. I don't watch a lot of TV. I spend all my time playing video games and watching anime on occasion. Do I want to go see Ver Navith? Not really. Lord of the Rings is good, though. Oh, I missed that one. Arden's new favorite villain. Arden is one of my favorite villains, too. I've not spent a lot of time thinking about, like, my favorites of stuff. Usually, I'll just, like, if someone asks me, I'll be like, uh, I really like Final Fantasy IX and XV and The Witcher, and I'll just, like, give you random ideas of things that I really like. But I don't often, like, categorize, like, these are my top five favorite things in a certain category. I don't like I don't like listing things out in numeric order. I like listing things. Like if you said, what what are your some of your favorite things? I can make a list of that. Can't order it. But Arden's up there. Right, I have Smo's hammer equipped. I was very confused for a second. Smo's up there. Arden, not Smo. Fuck Smo. Ornstein's up there. Ard, er, Arden's up there. Kef, not Kefka. Kuja's up there. Witcher 2, the villain was Circumstance. I don't even remember the villain of Witcher 2. Yeah, I don't remember. But I like Geralt. Geralt's really cool. Alright, prepare to eat shit. Midgard, so... Kill it? I'm gonna die. Straight up, we're gonna get smoked. Actually, I could probably swap to Prompto and do this. It's the assassin that killed the king. Oh, sorry, yeah, Letho. Now I remember. Whoa, frame rate. What is happening? Oh, I was aiming at the snake and then he moved. He was bad. Holy shit, I was not expecting that. And Ignis dead, ooh. That's problematic. I remember there was someone on the... Gladio, are you going to use that elixir or not, Andrew? Um... Invincible selfie shot! Nah, I'm good at this. Gladio took forever to use that. There's no headshots in this game. There should be headshots. Someone on the, the Reddit was complaining about the snake enemies. I'm like, and their poison attack. I'm like, dude, just warp out of the way of the poison. Ah, son of a bitch. I'm not Noctis, but thank you for the tip. I can't aim today. Ah, it's gonna whiff. Dude, I suck. I should just play Gladio. I don't have to try. Oh. Okay. Not the attack I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be the tail whip. That's fine, too. Time to poison Gladio. Eat shit. Bra! I need to break something off of it. Reduce its stats, maybe. Oh. I tried to block the first swing of the tail, because I thought that would be the part that hit me, but then it wasn't, so I was confused. Use this on Ignis. Kill the snake! Is that gonna hit me? I'm not sure. Yes, it is. Oh, it was... and I thought it was the tail whip again. Damn you! 
I love when I get one shot by everything. Do I have a mega potion? No. Oh, now I'm dead. Feels good. The only problem is everything's one-shotting me. Uh-oh. 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 I was holding shield. Can you not block that? I thought you could block that. This will probably be a ton of levels. Invincible through the attack. I love techniques. Oh, that's that's poison. That's poison. Oh, that's not poison. I thought that was poison. He does the usually does the curl up. Oh, this is gonna be the dive. I forgot all of Gladio's move set. It's unfortunate. Oh, I hit triangle. I'm bad. Oh, the amazing sword toss that sucks shit. Damn you, ground pound! Spam potions across the entire party. I should save up for Tempest instead of just using Razor Edge, but I love Razor's Edge, such a good move. Hitboxes? Hitboxes? Are you okay? Uh, someone pick up Ignis, please. Is that poison again? No, it's grab bad. There you go. Raise edge is fine. What am I talking about? Do another one. I wonder if Razor's Edge can consistently stagger him out of attacks. Maybe I should save that for when he's doing something like a Grand Pound and hit him. Apparently I can't guard it anyway. This should do a lot. I think it does. Unless I just... Invisible through that, and it didn't hit anybody else, which is possible. I don't have the full skill bar one, unfortunately, because I didn't do the DLC yet. No, get me out of here! <laughs> Damn it, I got stuck. I guess I could have jumped, but whatever. Oh, now they're dead. Gladio, use the potion. I told you to use the potion, didn't I? I guess we'll give her one the Phoenix Dance so everyone gets EXP. No! I oh, was so close! Can't swap yet. Hey, thanks. Nox is pretty quick about this. No. Oh, I thought it was over. I'm smart. You stole my potions. No! Kill. Try to go for me. Yes, please. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Whoa, is Noctis taking cover? He's got the cover bonus. I didn't know he did that. Earth Shatter for the win! What a shit tier special move. Well, that was difficult, but not impossible. We. I don't know if I can complete the dungeon in 50.
That is definitely new. <laughs> I have not heard that one before. <laughs> Nope! There we go. Oh, get shit on by fucking Smo's hammer, bro. Eat ass. Nope. Oh. Damn, I got some flying. Leave me alone. Oh, this is bad. Now, I don't have blink. Wait, do I have blink? I forget if I have blink or not. Thanks. Every once in a while, enemies are very quick to pick you, or not enemies, allies, are very quick to pick you up, but not always. Get shit on. Man, I wish great swords functioned like they did in the Platinum demo. Which is to say they weren't super duper slow and annoying to deal with. Because they're one of my favorite weapon classes, they just feel so slow. Do 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 do. Get some of them items. It's just so slow. I don't know if you've played the the platinum demo, but the great swords I'd say were probably twice as fast. It was the exact same move set, but it was just like sped up a lot, and the great swords felt awesome. Try using his charge attack in between combos. I don't like the charge attack for Noctis's great swords. I don't mind it for Gladio. I just don't like it for Noctis. But you're right. I should try it. Uh, oh yeah, let's look at the Ascension Grid. Do I have Blink? I do have Blink. Why does it feel like I don't have Blink? We're gonna definitely focus on getting Impervious next, though. I need that in my life. What is this? Fabled Waterfall Cave, tucked away behind Kayatane's Plunge. Kayatane? Are two L's pronounced like Y's in Italian? slash Latin, whatever this language is. The water spilling forth from Loch Thriosis conge conceal congealed caverns whose winding halls have vexed many an adventurer hoping to plumb their depths. A legendary sword connected to the royal family is said to slumber within the recesses of the cave, but its existence has not yet been confirmed. Although countless hunters have attempted to follow up on these rumors, the monstrous Midgard Sormer slithering around outside the grotto served as a strong deterrent. Uh, well, we'll do the dungeon. Screw it. Never had to play anything early. Damn, you were waiting for Final Fantasy games for a long while. When did Tactics come out? 97. That's fair. A lot of good exclusives, but if you've got a gaming PC, you don't need it, usually. Final Fantasy IX has one of my favorite endings, though. Make it to the right. No, you bastard. All right, whatever. Who's the... 
No, I let go of square so I could use my thumb to move the camera. Someone want to pick me up? No? Okay. I guess I'm just using an elixir. Better than using a phoenix down. Might need those later. But yeah, anyways. The, uh... The platinum demo. It was just so fast. Shields were the same way. Shields were super duper slow in the final version of this game, but in the Platinum demo, they were super fast and fun to use. Same moveset, though. I can't remember if I played Legends of Mana. I get all the Mana games. Uh, they all run together for me. The Zidane's crew is so good, though. I love everything about the Final Fantasy IX crew. Is Bernari fire in his core? Are there enemies weak to fire in here? I don't think so. I will take these. Uh, not having a regular sword is proving to be more annoying than it's worth. Fatal Crest is giving me darkness resist. Let's use this mod weapon, I guess. Smo's hammer, we'll trade for... Actually, we're going to make some magic. Do I have magic? Just ice. I don't want to use ice. I guess we'll use the blade of Renari. Trade speed for stopping and breaking power. It's fair, I just don't like how it feels. Asatoni got auto modded. I will allow it. No, make it! Ah, damn you, Noctis! You miss all the slide so that you don't slide. Whoa, hello. Nope. Not sure where my friends are. Oops. You know what? Oh, you don't know prompt us too far to use star shell. Feels bad. That I'm stuck inside of the electrical traps. Kill the tiny ads. Where are all my friends? They're all gone. What's wrong with this dungeon? This dungeon's fine. And by fine, I mean extremely annoying. Make the thing die! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, I guess it's you and me against the world, Ignis. Oh boy, hopefully they'll auto-warp to us later. I guess we'll just have to quickly go through this dungeon. I don't know if this game actually warps people to you if they get too far away. I hope it does. It's true, I only need Ignis. Literally, I don't even need Noctis. I can just play Ignis and be fine. Oh, hey, there we go. Got the bros back. It's time to get murdered by a... Uh, Ronin. Now I'm gonna make some magic. It's not a lot. When do I hit... That, okay, do that. Hmm. Would be a good one. Yeah, stop cast. They knew who the best bro was, and they gave him all of the best stuff. 
All right, here we go. Ah, you know what? Screw it. Later. Oh, really? What buff does Ignis have? I forget. Oh, enhancement. Right. Yeah. Sorry. Duh. Had a brain fart. Nice one, Gladio. Also, also Tony, while you're gone, we found out that the uh, the Falchion mod has been taking over everyone's weapons. Gladio is now using it. Not sure if I can like change it, load a different thing, and maybe come back. Maybe that'll fix it. I don't know. Really like him to have his sword back. Save for prompto. Please have your thing back, prompto. None of those are really calling to me. And then... Actually, though. Oh, you know what? Since I'm not using them. Give these to Ignis. Then I'll play as Ignis, and it'll be perfect. Ignis! Where'd you go, bro? There we are. No, he's still got the Falchions! Damn it! I wish there was more you could do in terms of, like, builds for this game. Not, like, you can do a magic build in Octus and a physical build in Octus, but I want, like, I wish I could make someone an actual mage. Like, it would have to be Noctis or Ignis, I guess, but, like, I wish I could make an actual mage. I wish I could make, like, a someone who could draw aggro, like, give Gladio some tanking abilities, that sort of things. That'd be fun. Did I fall down a hole? I fell down a hole. If you guys haven't seen it, there's the new, the Grand Blue Fantasy game coming out for PS4 that's made by Platinum. If you look at that combat, I'm like, that looks awesome. That's perfect. You can make a mage with a ring of Lucia. I could. It's true. I could. But then there's no game anymore. I just hold down circle and I win. Yeah, I get, like, yeah they did well in Comrades. I think Comrades, they really nailed it out of the park. Especially with the the royal sigils. Obviously not perfect, but it was it was great. It was a good idea. I wish that sort of stuff could have been in the main game. Oh, this is where the Ronin is. Oops. Died. Oh, I got the stop too. Yo, wombo combo. That ain't Falco. Didn't get a chance to hit him too much though. Oh shit! 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 No! 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 Yeah, secretly the glaives are extremely strong. <laughs> I've always justified that in my head as the the King's Glaive are trained for war. Noctis is not trained for war. He's trained to like be okay at defending himself. I mean he's got bodyguards for a reason. Nope. There we go. You're only saying that, Asatoni, because you're tired of seeing Dragon Whiskers. But no, you're right. They probably didn't want you to win Max. I feel like they wanted everyone to be around the same, but play different roles via the sigils. And then whatever abilities you infused in your weapon. But, people are what people are, and they'll always try to find the most optimal method, no matter what you do. It's like a challenge between the devs and the players. Fun fact. 
Fun fact, soup is probably my favorite type of food. I'm including curry in there. Yeah, also you can just, like, not worry about it too much. Love the jokes. Yeah, like I was saying, it's kind of like a challenge between the devs and the players. The players will always try and break whatever the devs give them. The devs' jobs make it as best they can without it breaking. But of course, they'll they'll inevitably fail because players have infinite time and resources to figure out the most broken stuff. Developers have a schedule. Damn you and your lasers! Makes me sad that the sigil, the tank sigils aren't super useful. But, I mean, a guy standing around projecting barriers, a not fun to do, and b not super useful because it doesn't protect like a dude walking up to you and smoking you from inside the barrier. Oh shit! If you let me out of here before I die, that'd be nice. Yeah, uh, I'm confused. I don't look confused. Oh, I'm confused. Can I not be confused? That'd be nice. There we go. We're good. That's true. Everyone's mobility is high enough that you don't need to worry about tanking. I'm not the biggest MMO guy in the world, but I do like Final Fantasy XIV because of the the tank a healer DPS roles. And of course, it's not unique to Final Fantasy XIV. Oh my god damn it. Don't kill me! Alright, oh, I don't have any more potions. I guess I'll use an elixir or whatever. I'm about to win this fight. Uh, no follow-up? No follow-up allowed? Okay. Oh, it's dead. I, I got confused while Smokey in the head. Awesome. I forget what sigil or ability it was. That it was like taunt and you could just draw enemies' attention. I feel like that's the best way to go about doing the tank roll in 15. Because that lets you use, like, the mobility to dodge stuff, but also you're not just sitting there fucking holding barrier for forever. That's, that's bro stuff right there. I could have four royal arms. <laughs> That's how I always approach multiplayer as well. I'm just like, I'm going to do the best I can. You guys are probably unreliable, but I'll just do as best I can to mitigate how much uh, risk you'll pose to us succeeding. Third best royal arm. Yeah, behind the blade of the mystic and the katana of the warrior. I haven't played a lot of endgame comrades, so it sucks that there's not a lot of people playing. Hopefully when that uh, standalone version comes out, there'll be more people playing. This water looks super janky. <laughs> and I'm stuck. Oh no, get me out of here. There we go.
Uh, no, no. The, see, the Sword of the Wise is bad and should never be used. And then the Scepter of the Pious is like, it's fine, I guess. I don't know. No, thank you. Is there not a lot of... Whoops. Not a lot of stagger for this one, huh? I really wonder if they're going to show any 15 stuff at all for uh, Eat or Square Nexus Showcase. I hope they do. Hold up. Ignis, are you not dealing damage? Ignis! Ignis! Why were you not dealing damage, dude? I could really do without a ton of battle royales uh, mode unveilings, to be honest. You know what? Let's do a high jump. The they're gonna show Final Fantasy stuff on the at the showcase. I know they confirmed they're doing the press conference. I know that. I just I don't think they said what they're gonna do yet. Unless I'm wrong. You know what? Total clarity. That doesn't do da Why are you not hitting stuff, Ignis? What is happening? I still don't understand the intense desire for PvP for Final Fantasy XV. I'm like, the PvP in this game would be insanely broken. I'm with you, though. That's If I could have one... Like, major change to comrades, it'd be a, at least a little roaming around with my friends. Like, outside of missions. I don't necessarily need the full... Uh-oh. I don't need a full open world. Like, fucking Modelio. I fucking hate that guy so much. Like, that guy keeps saying. But, I'd like at least to hang out with my dudes. Like, let me form a party and then hang out in Lestalem. That way I don't have to make a camp every damn time. It'd be so much faster. You can skip load screens too. Well, you like Dark Souls PvP, so you just like broken PvP. Oh, by the way, did you see the Sekiro uh, die twi Shadows Die Twice trailer? I haven't watched it yet because I'm trying to avoid too many spoilers before I watch all the conferences tomorrow, but I heard about it. Tobol? Tobol's in the movie? Like, just one of the random glaives that's just fighting in a scene or something? I heard that on the From website they did talk about stealth, so it is like a, a at least a little bit of a stealth game. But yeah, I, I haven't, I don't know anything about it yet. I haven't watched the trailer. I'm excited to watch it tomorrow. I I love Tenchu. Tenchu is so cool. I think they said it's on PC already. Maybe, maybe I'm just imagining that. If it's on PC, I might get it on PC. Depends what the multiplayer options look like. How the fuck did you get here, Gladio? The fuck? <laughs> this is with Lucha and the other traders on the ship. That's cool. Damn. I love details like that. I'm, I'm also a sucker for details like that. Nah, eh, we'll just drive in there. It's fine. Don't even get me started on David Cage games. I have a stick in my ass about those things. Seems like PvP co-op the way it is in Souls seems unlikely. Did they deconfirm multiplayer at all? Or yeah, like is it a single player game? Because it is a single player game, I'll just get it on PC then if it comes out. 
Or is it just not going to function like souls? Which, you know, that's fine too, I guess. I don't know. I'm not married to the way Souls does multiplayer. I think it's cool, but... It's a good song. Not the biggest fan of the Final Fantasy X soundtrack, but it's a good song. That's the thing about the Microsoft conference today, though. Like, I... I... Don't, I heard a couple game title spoilers for that conference. I haven't watched it yet. But thinking about it a couple days ago, I'm like, no matter what Microsoft does, there's zero way they can get me to buy an Xbox One at this point because now that I have a gaming computer, like they put all of their first-party stuff on PC now, so what do, I don't give a shit. So I'll just get it on PC. Which, until now, I've always been a person who bought every console. Because I like all the exclusives and the options, but... This generation just didn't get an Xbox One. There's no reason to, really. And now there's super not a reason to. Unless they're like, Halo 6, which I know is a thing, is only on Xbox One. I don't know if they can ask the PC version. That'd be weird, because Halo was always a console shooter, but... Oh man, we are we are of like minds, dude. I backed Bloodstained on Kickstarter, so I'm waiting for that. And God Eater Three, I'm so ready for. Give it to me. I've been playing God Eater One with uh, one of my work friends. Uh, the the PC version. The game's so good. I haven't played God Eater Two just because I I didn't like playing games on the PSP. So, I'm waiting until I finish God Eater on a PC, then I'm going to play that on PC as well. I'm going to have a fun time. Yeah, dude, the dual wielding. Ask the Tony, did you ever get into God Eater? Or Monster Hunter, I guess? Because they're kind of the same idea. God Eater's just more anime. Actually, I'd say God Eater is probably closer to Comrades than Monster Hunter is, even though Monster Hunter was clearly the inspiration for Comrades. Fantasy Star Online, I guess. Man, Fantasy Star Online was good, too. I'm glad I can read Japanese at least a little bit, so that way I can play PSO2. Yeah, Code Vein! That got a release date. That game, That's coming out September 28th, I think. I'm psyched for that. God Eater plus Souls? I'm way into it. You never played those? Mm. God Eater is like... At least one, I can't speak to two, and God Eater 3 looks like it's not going to have this problem, but God Eater 1 is ex extremely clunky, and it's a lot of fun. Yeah, Monster Hunter World, it, it's definitely the least grindiest of the Monster Hunter games, but it's still got a grind to it. It's a lot of fun. Very deliberate, in the same way that Souls is. If you're interested in that kind of game, though, uh, but I don't have the time, I'd say either Fantasy Star uh, or God Eater might be up your alley. Because it's the same sort of structure as Comrades. You like gear up, go out on a quest, kill a couple of things, and then come back, and then craft a thing, and then do it all again. Monster Hunter is more just about uh, killing specific monsters in the same areas over and over, whereas... The other games like PSO and God Eater are more about doing certain missions over and over. Oh, it's all good. I'm probably going to be getting off in a minute here anyway. Probably still a sore spot for Noctis. Okay, I get it.
one of them plan things. All right. I'm just gonna swap here because I can't remember where's my modded outfits. Which ones are they? Oh yeah, that mod outfit. That was a good one. There's the kingly Raymond. You're wondering how I have all these. I modded or I used cheat engine to add these all to my inventory, so I'm gonna mod them and stuff. Uh, do I forget what I modded the trendy outfit into? But yeah, let's do this one. This is the uh, the Final Fantasy 13 tuxedo. And by Final Fantasy 13 tuxedo, I mean they took that outfit and then just added the King Lee like cloak over it because that's all this is. And someone just uh, changed the model, took that out to make that. And then Gladio, I know I have a mod outfit for him. Oh yeah, it was a color swap for the casual outfit. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. I like this one. It's cool. I don't think I have anything else for Ignis. You're back? Nice. I'm probably going to get off now, though. I got to get up in the morning. That was a color swap, I think. Just currently distracted by what mods I have installed. Man, Noctis looks out of place now. Hold up, I gotta change this. Oh, but I don't have anything to swap into. Because the casual outfit, or the trendy outfit, is broken. Damn it. Um. Yeah, I'll I'll fix the trendy outfit. And we can use that next time. So many outfits, cause I'm not a console plebeian. <laughs> I wonder what that 17 is for, on Prompto's leg. Huh. Well, because we're gonna trigger some cutscenes and stuff once we leave here. This shirt is so good, and by good I mean terrible, <laughs> but so good. Uh, guys, we're gonna end up in like an hour-long story segment. I'm gonna cut the stream here, uh, so I can go to bed. But, let's see, do I have anything to do tomorrow? No. So. Yeah, so ugly, not available for PS4. You guys get those cool, uh, the Nyx and Libertus stuff for PS4, though, for comrades. I don't get that. I wonder if it's in the game files. I can probably try to find it. Yeah, so I'm getting off uh, tomorrow night. I'll probably start streaming around the same time, like 1-ish in the morning for me, whatever time it is for you guys. It's 3.20 for me right now. So just take your time, back it up a couple hours, and that's about when I'm going to start streaming, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. See you all next time. Don't forget to praise... I can't do the praise the sun on these streams, but uh, don't forget to praise the sun. Bye.